So earlier this year, Pink Sauce happened and it kind of, I, I thought at least, opened people's eyes that, hey, maybe you should think twice before buying something from something online from a random person on TikTok, Etsy, or anything if it contains food. But apparently I'm wrong. People still have not learned their lesson and they continue to keep making the same mistake time and time again. I, I, I don't understand. I feel like I'm a stupid town. I, I don't understand how this keeps happening. So I looked around on YouTube to see if any other creators talked about it and no one has at all. So let me break it down and give you some of the lore. There's a company called Pickle Me Everything and they were selling their product on Etsy, TikTok, and I'm not sure there's any other websites, but those are the two main ones that I always kept hearing being brought up. And the business was selling flavored pickles in a can. So recently a lot of big creators started promoting the product and so the business itself started getting a lot of orders, which in return brought a lot of eyes to the business. And once all the eyes start going on that business, the cracks in the wall started to form. If it comes minor leaking, it is hand sealed, not pressure sealed, not pressure cooked, no can, nothing involved. All right, so this person is selling pickled vegetables off of TikTok, off of their Etsy shop. There are accounts with millions of followers that have been promoting her products. And not only is she clearly not canning them correctly, but pickled and canned foods are actually not even allowed under cottage law in California. There is a risk of botulism with these foods, therefore it is not allowed. Unfortunately, she is blocking and deleting comments from anybody telling her that it's not legal and letting her know that this is a food safety risk. So on top of the fact that it's not even allowed under um, the cottage food operations in California, which is where she's operating out of, clearly you can see in that clip she's not canning it properly either, but even if she was, it's still not allowed. She is deleting comments and blocking people that are just merely telling her that it's not legal and telling her that it's not safe. So I just wanna make people aware. I'm seeing comments of pregnant people buying this stuff. You guys don't consume this stuff. It's not worth it. So essentially the business owner got caught with her pants down and she was like, oh, you caught me. Guess what? I'm a Thanos snap you away and send your ass to the shadow realm. Hey, you know what? Your comments deleted, your critiques blocked. And the whole time while I was looking into this, I'm just sitting there like, did nobody learn from what happened earlier this year? I get it. COVID and time just got all screwed up and it feels like time goes either slow or it goes super fast. But Pink Sauce did happen this year. It's still pretty recent, but somehow we're not learning these lessons still. I, I, I don't get this. This is another business owner who made food in her own home and said, you know what? I don't need to read the rules. I don't need licenses. Ugh, what? Why, why would I need that? Pink Sauce who? that can't happen to me can it and boy oh boy was she wrong and so when she got called out left and right this was her way to react to it hi to all my followers and friends hello pickled friends and family guys everyone i've seen what's going on i have the food license i have the can license guys just give me some time to put everything together as a video and show you guys all the proof and all the facts before you blow things out of proportion, before you don't know things. So please, private message me if you have a concern or if you're not happy the way I did something. But let me have a second to post everything, to show you guys everything. Then you guys can assume yourselves what you want after that. With that said, there's no orders being processed at this time. All orders are being starting to process on Monday when I show you guys all the proof, the facts. So if you are placing an order, I appreciate it. But just keep in mind, no one's getting their order anytime soon. All orders are being on hold until I prove you guys everything. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but none of that evidence ever came. On the bright side, she at least did one thing better than the pink sauce lady, which is apologize in a more timely manner and didn't go on a talk show and try and gaslight her customer into thinking she was wrong. So, you know what? There's one right, but you know what? One right doesn't fix two wrongs. And while she at least made an apology, it still has its issues. Hello, pickled friends and family. Um, first and most, guys, I want to apologize to everyone. I'm so sorry for all of this. It just happened so fast. Um, I was a small business. It blew up overnight. Ah, uh, yes. The, I'm a small business. I had success overnight. Y'all got me. I goofed up. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? You just caught me by surprise because of how many orders were coming in at once. I'm, I'm so tired of this excuse. You, you are a, a small business. Yes. And cool. You apologize. You said, I'm sorry. But what if? Because there's always that chance when you are selling a food product, if someone gets sick or potentially worse, someone dies because you risk the chance of botulism that I'm sorry, uh, my apologies, I'm just a small business that doesn't cut no more. It doesn't work. You can't say that. Just say I fucked up. I, I'm wrong. But using I'm, I'm just a small business owner, that, that's, a, that's a cop out. No matter how much hopium you're huffing, that's not a good reason. Saying I'm a small business owner does not mean 
anything. I'm so tired of seeing businesses that get caught with their pants down. Like, oh, <laughs> I, guys, I'm so sorry, man. I'm a small business. I didn't know better. I, You know what? I should have done my research before I started this business. But you know what? I just went ahead anyway. I want to bring, I want to thank Food Science Babe for bringing awareness to teach me things that I didn't know about this uh, food canning license, about a lot of things. With that said, guys, I am refunding everyone's orders. I truly apologize. I'm working on getting my commercial um, kitchen. We I've had it since Monday. I'm working on getting all the license, the permits, whatever it is that I need to get done to get this properly done. Um, if you want to cancel your order, I understand. No problem. If you want to hold on to your order until I get all this resolved and fixed the proper way, I appreciate it. I still appreciate everyone's love and support. So on a good note, at least people are getting the refunds. But... It just shows you, she even said in her own apology, hey, I'm going to now get all the license, all, all the permits. I'm going to do this properly this time, I promise. After I got called out by Food Science Babe and backlash from my customers, now I'm going to do the right thing. And I want to make this clear. I'm not ignoring that she at least owned up and actually apologized and is going to issue refunds and is now going to try and do right by the customer. But the point is, it shouldn't have even got to this point to begin with. We already had this shit storm happen once earlier this year and now it's happening again. When you are a food business, regardless if you're small or big, you all follow the same regulations and the rules just because you are a small business does not mean that you don't have to follow rules and regulations regarding food safety. What I'm truly, really trying to say is happy holidays. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry if I offended anyone or if I was rude or if I said something I shouldn't have or I blocked or whatever I've done or said, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hide. I'm not trying to run. I'm here, but I'm only here by myself. I'm one person with all the hate, all the messages, everything just came so fast. It blew up so fast and it's hard to reply to everyone's message, guys. Just bear with me. I'm doing my best. I do apologize. I do appreciate the support still. If you're not happy, no problem will issue a refund, but just please consider being a little bit nicer it does hurt people. So at least this story has a good ending versus the pink sauce shit that had two arcs to it and both of them were terrible. And she posted a video earlier today showing her new little industrial kitchen setup. So she is making steps forward. But there is one thing I would like to touch on that I read in TikTok comments earlier today, which I, I, I just don't understand it. I, had, I saw some users say, you know what? Your food is so delicious. Whether you had the, the license or any of that, I don't care. Your food is good. And that's such a bad precedent to set. Why would you lower your standards like that? You should hold every food company to the same standards. If your life could potentially be at risk and almost even kill you, why would you want to entertain that? You're putting your trust into a business that lied straight to your face. I don't know how you would automatically just keep trusting them right off the bat. If a food company did that to me, I would be the most skeptical person for the rest of my life. I don't know if I could ever trust them again. Again, food is not something you just, you know, you play around with. That's not just something you just, oopsies, I made a mistake. I <laughs> someone got sick. Oh, well, and maybe next time they'll be fine. I honestly couldn't believe I was reading comments like that after all the shit that's gone down this entire year. I don't know how after the pink sauce shit, this even happened. And now after this, people are like, the food's good. I don't care. You know what? If I get sick. Oh, well, food's still good, right? If a business deadass lies to your face, they should earn your trust back, not you just give it back because you love their food so much that you just overlook any wrong that they could do. That's not good. Again, I'm not ignoring that she at least owned up and now she's finally doing the right thing, but we shouldn't be having this situation where we only do the right thing once we get caught with our pants down. That's not good and it shouldn't be happening. And hopefully, I'm probably gonna be wrong and this shit's gonna happen again in 2023, but hopefully now that we've had two big incidents where this has happened again we're not going to make the same mistake a third time in 2023 but who knows anyways you made this far into the video consider giving it a like subscribing to the channel leave me a comment below what you think have a great day yeah